We got another matchup coming up. Dill versus Utopian Ray. This is going to be what? Uh, Losers, go. quarters, semis? Or yeah. Quarters. I think it's quarters. It yeah. is quarters, yeah. So the winner of this goes on to loser semis, off to losers finals, but off to grand finals. Right. So here we go. Rosalina coming out from Utopian Ray. Now, Utopian Ray used to be known for his Palutena in the early stages of Ultimate. It still rocks with Palutena, but recently we've been seeing a lot more Rosalina and Luma That's right. coming out from him. Yeah, I mean, you know, Rosa definitely uh, pretty nerfed from Smash 4. A lot of people lost faith in this character, but we see uh, we see Utopia right you now giving her, yeah. give her a chance. To be fair, I don't see many people play this character besides Ray and uh, Buzz and yeah. the end of the list. So, like, it, a lot... She's still good. It's just she's not in the level that she used to be. So that's of, right. Yeah. That's the thing with the Palutena. You know, like people don't see the brokenness that some of these other characters have. Yeah. You know, you're fighting against the likes of Rob, who could push side B on you off stage and kill you at such an absurdly low percent. It, it definitely you, is frustrating. So, so you need like a tool to be able to combat that. And you know, Rosa might not have the stuff for that, but she can still get win. She can still find that W. Right now, though. It, uh, you know, Ray's been putting up a really good fight so far. Only a 153 percent. Just run in there, get the kill. Through the gyro. Wow, really showing us the... Goes uh, the matchup. Horizontal, yeah, for sure. You know, the confidence to go for a play like that, pretty good. That Still was... catching that landing. I mean, that floaty, it's it's pretty hard to get down when you're, you're stuck between a Rob and a gyro, so... The Dilla, curse of not being a fastballer, you know? Yeah. Giving, uh, giving Dill perfectly, you know, enough time to set up whatever she needs. Ooh, catching the catching drop shield with the back air. Probably, you know, kind of baiting out a parry, maybe for Nair or something, and, and executing that back air perfectly. Ooh, the down tilt on the Nair. I mean, these landing mix-ups from Dale have been pretty good so far. Ooh, catch. Ray, yeah. he was so focused on getting that gyro mm -hmm. instead of looking like right, right in front of him that yeah. Dill was coming with a down air. Mm, definitely something that uh, you got to consider against Rob. You know, that gyro, uh, a whole other entity that stays on the stage for quite a while. So, got to gotta make sure you're looking at the robot, too, you know. The big bodied robot right in front of you that you could buy from, uh, you know, the Nintendo games back in the day. Not an actual video game character, just appeared as a physical cartridge one day. Yeah. And it's like, yo, I can play with him because I have no friends, bro. <laughs> then he sucks. He's actually garbage at his games. Oh yeah, yeah. Is, oh, he played with you. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he was the player two controller. That was pretty interesting because yeah, you know, a lot of people he worked for two games. Yeah, interesting. A lot of people would say that uh, Rob plays the game for you, so very fitting. Yo, but <laughs> that's wild, bro. Yeah. Dill's actually out here. No, Dill with is the most laser. Definitely out here. That was geometric with that laser into the stage and popping it up <laughs> to catch that poor floating. I love that you called it geometric because. She literally just shot the ground. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's like that's basic bread and butter for Rob. I mean, listen, it looked cool. So look at yeah, that! Look at that! Make angle. a note of it. Look at that angle. Even Rob's looking at it. Looking very up. He's like, yo, there. right there. Yep. Perfect 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Perfect angle. You see Luma getting shot in the crossfire yeah, too. Yeah, Luma getting caught. Not gonna do Rosa innocent anything. bystander innocent over here. Bystander. I mean, that's so exploded. innocent. Luma be putting in the work, you know. <laughs> He's an accomplice right there. Oh my gosh, be careful. All right, here we go. Jumping into game number two. You know, that was actually a pretty strong start for Ray, but then I feel like. The momentum kind of heavily shifted in Dill's favor after, like, that, that gyro incident that yeah. happened. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, Rosalina, like we said, definitely has the tools capable. But, I mean, Rob, such a consistent character that if you get caught lacking, uh, you will pay the price. You know, Ray, tacking on that percent pretty well, though. You know, Rob, as we all know, big bodied, and rosa has got those. rosa has got a pretty decent advantage, so. Especially on Rob, so we're going to see that come through. Dill's super good at just walling out her opponent. Oh, right? yeah. Just, just going for like a lot of retreating forward errors, mm. down tilts, safe down tilts, mind you, not just like running up on the opponent and doing yeah. it, which sometimes, you know, Rob's can get away with doing. Like, that's totally something they can sometimes do. But, like, from an angle, from a distance, being able to apply a little bit of pressure, yeah. very smart to do. Try to force him into an option. What a fantastic grab from Ray, by the way. Mm -hmm. Putting on the pressure on that ledge. We see Dill now going for the higher recovery. But, I mean, Rosa occupying that space for so long. That's the distraction, bro. You're getting distracted by the gyro, and then the importance <laughs> right yeah. in your face. Both, both players are uh, a victim of that right now. 
All right, we got Dill fighting her way back from the ledge, using that Nair, using that gyro to push Rosa away. And, you know, I mean, Rosa not necessarily known to be able to deal with these giant, you know, long disjointed hitboxes right in her face. We're going to see what happens on this recovery. And Dill relying on that very consistent spike. Literally, getting... it's Rosalina's upbeat. Yeah, right? like, I mean, you're you're a sitting. You duck are to that. very much a sitting duck. No hitbox on that recovery. Not the fastest. Not a lot of mix-up you can do when you're coming straight up the ledge like that. Against Rob's dare, mm, like you're, you're yeah, done for. Yeah. yeah oh, we'd be in the exact rule. same position. Oh, good air dodge. Get back yeah. onto the stage. If, if Ray didn't grab that ledge right there, he was dead. Mm -hmm. Ray, you know, trying something out new to, to get back onto the stage for that. Ooh. Rob. Ooh, a little bit of gyro string for Ray. Trying to pick it back up. Play. Yeah. Trying to pick it up once again. Gonna get hit for it, but we got Dill back to ledge again. Ray's been pretty good on these ledge traps so far, but, you know, Rob, a character that can apply a lot of variation to the way he gets back to the stage. He's going to trade uh, range attacks here momentarily. That's we got right. Ray with a slight advantage here in terms of positioning, but very even in terms of percentage. Ooh, catching the gyro with that. I think it, like, hit the Luma, and then they caught it with the down tilt. Or maybe they just straight up caught it with the down tilt. Wow. I was going to say tragic, but... You know, yeah, I mean, gets right back to a one stock match here. Yeah, that's right. Utopian Ray, we see on point calling out that uh, that Rob's movement. You know, it can be tough to get away from an opponent while they're on the Angel platform, and, and, and Ray taking full advantage of that. Man, that Nair was out for a year. Yeah, I mean, it hit both Rosa and I think it hit the Luma after, but that actually made it unsafe on hit if I saw that correctly, allowing uh, Ray to get a little bit of a string here, pushing Dill into the corner. And a lot of uh, safe play coming out from Dill, just Nair shield, Nair shield, mm -hmm. waiting for Ray to commit to an option. Oh, gonna take the projectile too, take as both well of those gyro? projectiles. Yep. Yeah, give me that, give me that, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely want that in the control of DeRosa. Don't want Rob to get anything started. We see Dill now actually, you know, they send out the gyro with the intention of Ray picking it up so that they can grab that forward air right there. That's definitely gonna be something that, uh, that Ray has to mix up. They want to avoid getting punished by it in the future. Ooh, the confidence to go for that run-up grab was uh, pretty good from from Ray. Another another grab, uh, catching Rob's landing. We got Dill back on the stage with with a pretty. Ooh, goes to the third grab. Yeah, not gonna be able to get through that spot yeah. dodge. But here we go, putting a bad spot. Ray potentially looking for an answer here. Get that gyro out of here, just kicks it with the get-up attack, avoids the down air, fantastic spacing wow, from Ray, but yes. Ray finds himself in a very bad position, 108%. Still looking to close it out, not gonna be able to get that down air. Very fast recovery from Ray, but they just can't get off this ledge. It's a tough position. Most definitely hitting with the weak hit of that down air, luckily for Ray. Gonna get one more chance to come back to the ledge. Ooh, grabs the gyro, but still getting a grab, and the laser is not gonna do it. That is the weak laser. So will not kill. Once again, contesting. That was literally Ray's dream moment. <laughs> they yeah. needed they needed the that. gyro. Mm -hmm. And uh, in all honesty, th the entire recovery from Ray's game plan is relying on getting that gyro to have some sort of offensive retaliation for the recovery. Because if they if they didn't have that gyro right there, they would have had to have upbeat or oh, air dodge right, up, yeah. and that was a dare, and that would have been game. But mm. instead. Catch is still completely off guard, sending him all the way to the West Coast. Just no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were looking at very high percents there, but you mega died. <laughs> you mega died on that one. Where was the DI, bro? Yeah, and it, I mean, it's that just. That <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're down bad. <laughs> Devin cracks me up with these cameras. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's truly it's truly pretty funny. <laughs> and he can get away with it, bro. Like, oh yeah, no, I mean, older yeah! sibling over here. Yeah, exactly. I would not have it any other way. No, no one else would pop off for their sibling losing a match. You know, <laughs> no one else. <laughs> Straight to the side. Oh, the way she fell. Okay, here we go. Game number three, going oh, to Kalos. Definitely a uh, pick we've seen from Dill before. Uh, you know, enjoying the amount of space that Kalos gives. We, we talked about how Dale is one of those players that kind of just wants to wall you out for a while, sending out those gyros constantly down to back airs, et cetera, et cetera. And Kalos giving them the space to do it. We see they're kind of they're kind of comfortable, you know, just chilling in this corner, poking with the gyro, poking with the laser, seeing if there's an opportunity to get to a better position. But I mean, Ray, 
really, uh, really hankering down on this advantage state right now against Rob, and, and I feel like getting a little bit more percent than they, they did maybe in that first game. Yeah, it, it's helping a bit. I mean, still like the first stock, so not much is going to be happening here right. just yet besides just a little bit of back and forth action. But now we see Dill, 118%. I like the, you know, it, there's a lot happening, obviously, mm -hmm. right? Like, Dill trying to climb through this bracket, trying to get past this top five, doesn't want to go home with a fifth place finish yet, was literally on the verge of winning the past game, and now all of a sudden... Yeah, that is that is something that you definitely have to take into mind when, when considering the, the mentality of these players. You're so close to that 2-0, but now you're, you're, you're here in a game three. Yeah, especially Ooh. after just previously losing to uh, Tilde, like the, right, right, yeah. the set before. You don't want to lose two sets in a row. Like, that's you definitely travesty. don't. So here we go. Still going with that down tilt. Both, uh, both players both still have three stocks, but as I wow. say that. Wow, you know what? That may air. very well have been a bait because, you know, Rob taking a swing at that Luma after the up smash on his shield, wanting to get him out of there. Ray taking full advantage of that. Up smashing with Rosa. Okay, not only does when Rosa holds on to that gyro, does it give them a retaliating option while off stage. It also prevents the Rob from being able to use gyro any longer That's while right. early on. So. Yeah, you can't set up that lead trap with the gyro anymore if you miss uh, the shot on the recovery. We're going to see if, you know, Dill maybe will consider, reconsider rather, their uh, their edge guarding flow chart. Because, I mean, Rob can certainly get the job done with a, with a down air, with a fair, with a side B, especially on a recovery like Rose with no hitbox. That, could be pretty lucrative for Rob, so we'll see. But, you know, finally taking that stock with the up throw on Kalos. Ooh, Ooh. another little, cute little gyro extension for Ray here. We got Dill in the corner, fighting their way out. Doing a little more hastily than usual, but now setting back up with the gyro. Using the Nair to try and poke their way out of the corner. But Ray's really having none of it. And, and once Dill does get up... Those up smashes are coming through. Ooh. Forward smash. Tell me about that forward smash. Uh, wow. They landed in front of it. They did. And the forward smash came out. And the forward smash most certainly came out. And they exploded. And they did explode. And the stock is now 2-1. to one. Mm -hmm. And that's going to happen. That is what's going to happen. We got Ray covering many options in that sequence. Landing the F smash. Getting Rob off stage again. Probably not going to see an early stock coming out from Rob, but the damage tacked on in these ledge interactions is dangerous. Most dangerous is this grab, bro. Get him off stage. 106%. Dill looking for this ant. I feel like whenever Ray is on this, that was a Hail Mary. That was most definitely a Hail Mary. I mean, kind of a weird position to punish on that platform, but Ray coming in with the off smash. Ooh, did the Luma come in for the assist there? Bro, Ooh. you cannot ground Rosalie. Rosalie is one of those characters where, like, if you hold on to for too long with a grab or a grounded state, That's like, right, Luma is there swinging. Yeah. Like, get off my mom, bro. Mm-hmm. That's his mom's. Can't disrespect the mom. No, not at all. Ooh, I love I love these combos Ray's just going for. Like, you can tell the character knows how to... Ray knows how to play with items. Most but definitely, yeah. Up there coming out. Ray literally finds himself in a position where he, they could potentially take the set. Yeah, I mean, Rob at 108, one of the heavier characters. Probably not going to die to a raw kill move yet, but I will not doubt I'm Ray's call, ability. I'm calling it now. Dill's going to kill Ray at like 50%. You know, that is most definitely something you have to consider I'm in these situations. Ooh, this is, this is not good. No Luma on the field. We got Ray in the corner. Still fighting back for this a present it. deficit. This is it. This might be it. One of those landing nares could be devastating Dill's right now. Dill's going to push him off and hit him with the dare. And that's going to be the set. We will Give see. Give a sec. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. Ray put wow. me wrong. I'm so proud of Ray. That I am was, actually proud of Ray. I know. That was excellent play coming out from Ray. I mean, really, you know, difficulty with, with covering Rob's landing is something that's common, you know, against this character. But, I mean, Ray kind of just putting on a master class right there of how... To prevent Raj, Raj, Rob from getting his feet back on the stage using the up smash to cover like anywhere he could have drifted. I'm surprised that hit, honestly. That's well, if you look at the arc, the animation of the arc is actually hitting Rob. See, so watch this. See, right there. Oh, yeah, that's there hitting you go. Him. Yeah, that's yep. definitely hitting him. No, for sure. No I, questions asked. Like, yeah. that, that, that connected. Yeah, I mean, Ray showing us the uh, the arc. Yeah, the arc of Sailor Moon right there. The the full distance on that uh, on that up smash gonna seal out the set for Ray there. So that's losers. 
fifth. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be a fifth place finish for Dill. Uh, Ray is going to be moving on into a loser's semis to fight off against our next opponent for the top four spot. Ray going through the bracket, and honestly, things have not changed much here at this like top eight. All these characters. All these players are like, yep, I was, I would have seen these players two years ago. That makes sense. Oh I yeah, believe for that. sure. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, especially uh, with with the talent pool that we got right now, it's it's looking like one of those pre-COVID Zenos where you where you got Jen sitting in winners. Mm. Uh,